Hey guys, this is Alexa Dimoyuga, your aspiring dentist. So today, we will be talking about the basic steps of odontectomy. First, we will identify the classification of your impaction. So with this, 1A, angular. As you can see, I will be administering the anesthesia. So the anesthesia will be the anesthesia technique we we'll use are the the, in, the inferior alveolar nerve block, the long buccal nerve block, and the lingual nerve block. Okay, so once you are done anesthetizing, your patient will be numb. Number one is reflecting adequate flap for accessibility. The ease of removing an impacted tooth is very dependent with accessibility so we will do our best to access it for so in my case because the tooth is superficial already that means you can already see some part of the some part of the impacted tooth we will just be using an envelope flap so an envelope flap why did i choose this first because it's super superficial already an envelope flap is quicker to heal than the than the three pointed incision. So with the procedure, incision to the anterior border of the mandibular ramus up to the distal portion of the impacted third molar. And then circular incision from the distal of the third molar up until the mesial of the mandibular first molar. We will use our elevator to reflect the flap and we will use our Minnesota retractor or our retractor to retract the flap and you will have full access to our impacted tooth. Number two. So what our professor taught us, we will first, we should not do the saucer method already. With removing overlying bone, we will start making our displacement space and our working space. So right now, I am drilling. Um, I'm using my surgical burr. It's a round burr, so I'm just drilling on the michelle. I'm just drilling on the michelle, making my working space, and then I'm drilling on the distal working on my displacement space once the depth is enough we will be connecting the two holes or until you reach the cervical the technical definition of ditching is removal of the bone between the tooth and the cortical bone in the cancellous area of the bone so this provides access for elevators to gain purchase points and a pathway for delivery of the tooth so uh access for elevators that's for your working space and then um a pathway for delivery of the tooth that's actually your displacement space so that's really important okay so sectioning of the tooth so since our our case is um superficial tooth so we don't need to section it you have to assess the need to section the tooth okay so sectioning allows portions of the tooth to be removed separately with elevators through the opening provided by bone removal. And number four, delivery of section tooth. Once adequate bone has been removed and the tooth is exposed and tooth has been sectioned if needed, the tooth is delivered from the alveolar process with elevators. Yes, we do not use forcep. It is more prone to unwanted accidents in the clinic. So in the mandible, the most frequently used elevators are the most frequently used elevators are the straight elevator, the paired crier elevators, and or the crane pick. Remember to not use excessive force as, as it may fracture the mandible. Make sure your force is controlled. Okay, preparing for wound closure. Once the tooth has been removed, the socket requires perfect care. Gentle curettage of the socket is done. A bone file is used to remove the sharp edges, the rough edges, particularly where the elevator came in contact. Removal of all particulate bone chips and debris from the wound through irrigation. Sometimes we place gel foam on the socket to aid 
and provide hemostasis. Next is wound closure. So since since the material, since the cast is made of flax, I was not able to perform the wound closure. However, I will show you my previous work wherein I performed an interrupted suture because it is the most usual and ideal for our for an odontectomy. It's one of the odontectomy is one of the indications for performing an interrupted suture. If the flap was well designed and not traumatized, it will perfectly fit into its original position. So that is all your basic steps for odontectomy. The tooth has been delivered. The tooth is out. So this is all for today. This is your aspiring dentist, Alexa Di Mayuga. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.